okay I know that lamp up there looks a little funky but it's beginning to get dark and I wanted y'all to see the front of the battery um, this is going to be the finishing touches for my solar panels and my charge controller my charge controller to the battery you always want to hook your charge controller up to the battery before you do anything else because if you hook your solar panel and, and send it straight to the battery you go burn the battery up because you go overcharge it this is a lead time battery it's 12 volt life po4 low temperature 230 amp hour battery lithium battery the reason it's low temperature because this battery will not allow you to charge it below 32 degrees because you can't charge batteries you're not even really supposed to use them when it's below 32 degrees of lithium batteries but um it weighs uh close to about 45 pounds it's got handles on both sides so you don't have to worry about hauling it around i mean it's really not that bad you got your positive side and your negative side it comes with the screws probably what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it in the floorboard of my scamp behind the passenger seat because it fits right there because you want your co your, your charge controller to be within three feet of the battery um that way you, it, everything works a lot better i'll be using 10 gauge wire um and with this battery here at 230 amp hours i'll be able to run my refrigerator freezer for about five days before i even charge this battery so in other words I'll get five days out of this battery even if I'm not charging it. When you get the battery, it's only going to be about 30% charged. So you do have to charge your battery up. And they say they recommend charging it up for one day. And then if when you start using it, when you start running it down, you only have to worry about it takes about five hours to fully charge again. Overall, it's a medium price battery. I mean, it seems to be built very good. Um, of course it comes with a manual to give you all the information about it like I said it's a lead time battery it's a lithium battery and um I think it'll work out real good for my system so I put it in the car and hooked it up to the charge controller charge controller to the solar panel and see what I got most of the time I'm gonna run my refrigerator off the battery because using DC current you get a lot more juice for your money and then when it starts running low and i know i have to charge it that's when i'll cut my inverter on my inverter what an inverter does it takes the bolts from 12 volt and it makes it 120 so that way i just use it'd be like the same thing as using house current and just plug the um, refrigerator freezer into the inverter but anyway hopefully y'all learned a little bit out about the battery and the solar system because solar solar system yeah because i'm i'm following through all this too i'm not no whiz kid when it comes to solar and panels and charge controllers and batteries so i'm kind of like learning as i go so hopefully um this video will help you all out and hopefully it'll work out for me but yeah enjoy and maybe i'll see you down the road and thanks for watching please subscribe appreciate you watching